Hi everybody, this is Nat from Studio Hacks, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can take a song that you've created in the GarageBand app for the iPhone and turn it into your ringtone. And I'll also show you how you can even share that ringtone with a friend so they can set it as their ringtone. Now, before I go into it, this is not a tutorial about how to make music in the GarageBand app. I do have a separate video on that topic and I'll leave the link in the description to this video. This is also not a video showing you how to download other people's music off the internet or from your iTunes library and turning that into your ringtone. If you want to learn how to do that, I do also have another video on that, which I'll leave a link to as well. This is how to take your own original music that you've created and use it as your ringtone. So I've got this uh, track here called Instrumental Beat 6. So this is just a garage band session that I created in another video. And this song has two sections to it. It has a bit of a quiet build up at the start, and then it has a louder sort of main bit at the second half. So I want to only use that loud bit as my ringtone. I don't want a quiet beginning to the ringtone. I just want it to come completely in. So I'm going to actually create a second version of this song so I can have the original version and keep that. And then I've got just the ringtone version, which will be a little bit different. So if I go out to my songs, I'm going to go on the select and then select that song and make a duplicate version of it using this button right here. And then in you'll see it's just added a seven on the end. So I'm going to hold my finger down on that and select rename. And then I'll call this beat six, which is my name that I had for it. And then this is the ringtone version. There we go. So I hit done. And now, now I can happily edit this and I have still got my original song. So it's got the two sections. All I want to do is delete that first section, which is that build up part. So I'm going to hit this plus button here, which will show me the song sections. There's my first part, the four bar section there, section A and section B. I'm going to delete section A. To delete a section, I simply pop my finger down and slide to the left. And then that will give me the delete option. Now, when I hit done, this is the version of the track that I want to export. So I'm going to hit this arrow, go back to my songs. All I have to do is go select and then hit the instrumental beat six ringtone version. And then the export on the bottom left hand corner will give me the option to save it as an audio file, which is the song on the left. The middle is the ringtone and the right is the project. So I'm going to simply select ringtone. And then it says your ringtone length needs to be adjusted. Your ringtone needs to be 30 seconds or less. It'll automatically be shortened to the appropriate length. Just hit continue. And then here you can give it a, a separate name. This will actually appear under your list of ringtones. And then hit export and then it will give me the option right here when it's finished exporting this to set it as the ringtone or the text tone right here. So um, this shouldn't take very long because it's only eight bars long. And then I will get another little, little screen that will pop up in just a moment. And I'll show you also how to go and change it in your uh, actual iPhone settings. But from right here, I select use sound as. If you just hit OK, it's going to, it will appear in your list of ringtones, but it won't be set as your ringtone. If you want to go use sound, you can set it right now and set it as the standard ringtone. You can set it as your standard text tone, or you can set it as a special contact. So only for one person when they call you, that's their special custom ringtone. So you know that person is calling you. Um, if you set this as your text tone, I would highly advise not to because it will play a 30 second piece of music as your text. You want a short tone as your text. So I'm going to set standard ringtone there. So now that's set as my ringtone. And if you want to change it back to normal, uh, you can simply go back to your uh, iPhone settings under the settings and then go down to sounds and haptics. And then down here, you'll see that Nat's trap ringtone is the one that I just set. 
Um, and then I've got some other ringtones that I've made there, but these are all the um, default sounds. So you can set it back to the default. Um, and then these are all the, the, the ones above that like thicker line. These are all the ones here that I've got, that I've created for myself. Um, so just to quickly finish off this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can um, take your own uh, ringtone and share it with a friend if you want to give it to someone else. So it's pretty simple. Um, all you do is um, go to the actual select. So you hit select on the top right hand corner, select your instrumental beat six ringtone. And then you, instead of selecting song or ringtone, you select project. And this will export the project, the actual GarageBand project. And then you can text this to someone or you can airdrop it to your computer. You can save it to your files. You can email it to somebody. They can then, um, they can then open that on their own phone in the GarageBand app. It's a free app. And they can follow the instructions that I gave in this video to export it to their own ringtones and they can set it as their ringtone. So I hope you enjoyed this content, everybody. If you found it valuable, please subscribe to the channel for future updates. And if anything confused you in this video, make sure that you leave a comment and I'll get back to you and see if I can help you out. Thanks and I'll see you in the next video.